hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today today it is my Premier League prediction for week 35 and the season's drawing ever closer um, there's been a few shocks um, you know unbelievable results this week I'm just going to go over them quickly Everton beat Man United 4-0 um, was very unexpected even from my point of view uh, Crystal Palace beat an Arsenal 3-2 um, you know Arsenal didn't really turn up Arsenal fans were saying um, Wolves drawing to Brighton um, now a lot of Wolves fans were saying Brighton was boring, Brighton was this um, but in Brighton's defence they're trying to anything to stay up in this league uh, I'm sure a few of your Wolves fans will see it from that point of view and if you're in that situation you'll be doing the same um, and Burnley just draw to Chelsea just literally has on recording this um, but guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first thing you know, I'm going to kick off with and you can tell that behind me already is uh, Spurs versus Brighton a catch up game for Brighton now I will explain to you as I go further down the list because I've got two Brighton games to do um, but this game can really help settle that relegation battle with Cardiff um, you know Cardiff losing to Liverpool um, they've got nothing to be ashamed of uh, I know uh, many um, Santa dived but your, your defender did have his arms all over him, so I couldn't really complain. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'll explain it as I go down the list. But as I've just said, the first game I did, so let's go on with that. Um, Tottenham moved to City this weekend, just gone. Now, I ain't going to lie to you, I, I have been watching Man City and Tottenham in the Champions League as well. Um... You know, their two centre-backs are really iffy. Uh, if you've got Tottenham coming up in the next couple of weeks, I'll take your chances because I think you will get them. Um, Brighton, on the other hand, I've mentioned at the top of the video that they did draw to Wolves and now are looking for uh, survival. Um, now, this is a hard one to call because I could go with the odds which did with uh, Brighton versus Wolves or Wolves versus Brighton and it didn't work out that way or I could go against the odds be a massive shout but it could possibly happen so um, with this one I'm just going to call this one a draw um, no disrespect to Tottenham but I can't see him start his son or Ericsson or anyone like that would be playing Wednesday, Saturday it would be too much for him to play Tuesday, Saturday as well um, but, you know Harry Winks is out as well so I'm going to call this one a nil-nil scoreline um, for that one. The next one is Watford versus Southampton. Now Southampton ain't safe um, at all. They're nearly there. I just think the relegation battle is between Brighton and Cardiff. Um, you know, but the pundits are saying Southampton ain't safe. If you're putting it all that way, then Burnley ain't safe either. Uh, of us. Obviously, just draw to Chelsea. I'm um, going up against my dark horses of Watford. Um, you know, Watford got nothing to be ashamed of this season. I think they've had a great season overall. Um, you know, it's the last few weeks now. It's where, where you see the uh, tiredness of the players uh, a lot. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to stick up for my dark horses. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolves versus Arsenal. Now, yet again, this could be a very other boring game on the Wolves side. Um, Arsenal are looking for the three points, so obviously Arsenal playing counter-attacking football up at Molyneux. Um, Wolves are looking for the Europa League place. I don't think you make it. I'm still going to stick by that. But you're not going to be that far away personally, I don't think so. But I do advise anyone like Wolves go very careful and going for Europe um, Burnley done it this season and then nearly got relegated so you know that's really has got to be a step that you really have got to take a closer look at um, 
My dog guy with this one. See, this is another tough one. There's a lot of tough issues this weekend, and there's the other one up next, and you'll find out in a minute. Um, but see, Arsenal ain't playing that great away from home. Um, I'm gonna call this one another draw. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one all. But I'm expecting a very boring game from both sides. Um, the next one is the Manchester Derby. Man United vs Man City. Man United losing this weekend, as I mentioned on top of the video. And City winning this weekend. Um, but Man United do need the points to try and close that gap in that top four. City need the points. Game in hand. Um, over Liverpool to get top of the table. So, where do I go with this one? Um, now no disrespect to City, they've got the same sort of problems in defence that Tottenham have. Um, but United didn't really look that good against Everton, 4-0, no way expected. So yeah, again, it's given me another tough game to call. Um, I'm going to stick up, <coughs> pardon me. For I'm gonna stick up for the red side of Manchester. Um that's no disrespect to City. I know Liverpool I want United to win as well because obviously the game in hand. Um so I'm gonna stick up I'm gonna go for a two one Man United scoreline for that one. My next one is Liverpool versus relegated Huddersfield. Now Relegation Huddersfield uh, did score this weekend to Watf against Watford, but didn't leave it till late, so you know it's no good anyway. But um, going up against a very good Liverpool side who did uh, beat Liverpool, uh, Cardiff 2 0. Beat Liverpool, they beat themselves now. Nah. Uh, beat Cardiff 2 0. Um, but I'm going to stick up for the red side of Mercy side for this one as well. And I'm going to go for a 4 0 Liverpool win for that one. I'm expecting Liverpool to turn up the heat, especially against a team like Cullisfield. The next one is a London derby. And it's Spurs versus uh, West Ham. Now, uh, Spurs ain't. Doing that badly of late, but West Ham are looks to push up the table a bit more coming into the this season and possibly start looking at the at your own league place for the next season. Um, so you know, and it is at Spurs' new ground as well. Um, so <sighs> these are all tough fixtures to call, and I do try and get them right. You know, I try to be on both sides 50 50. Um, I'm going to call this one another draw. And I'm going to call it a 2 all scoreline. No Harry Kane, as far as I know. Whether he makes a late comeback, I don't think so. But, and then West Ham got their problems with Andy Cole out as well. The next one is Crystal Palace versus Everton. Um, Crystal Palace doing Arsenal this weekend, Everton doing United, as I've already mentioned. So, with that one, uh, where do I go? I'm going to go for the blue side of Mercedes for this one. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. Now, it's the game that I can explain in a bit more depth of how this week could work out on that relegation battle. The game is Fulham versus Cardiff. Um, now, on the likely outskirts that Brighton do beat Spurs uh, today, um, and Cardiff lose to Fulham, uh, Cardiff will only have two games left. Uh, the gap will already be six points. 
um, with a superior goal difference. I can't see Cardiff scoring 14 plus goals in two games, uh, especially against teams like Crystal Palace and Man United. So, you know, that's how the relegation battle could work out this week. Um, and then, obviously, Brighton take on uh, a bit later on after this Fulham Cardiff game, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, but back to the game itself Fulham on two wins on the bounce. I think they're going to make it three. I think they really do want to go out on a high. And I'm going to go for a Fulham 2 1 win. And I'm, you know, in one way, I'm, it's, you know, hoping that Cardiff might put up a bit of a fight. They've got to put up a bit of a fight. Otherwise, I think Fulham would just have you. Um, the next one is a bit of a derby Southampton versus Bournemouth. Um, you know, both teams, they got really nothing to fight for. Bournemouth are safe. Southampton are not mathematically safe, but I think they are anyway. Um, so I'm just going to call this one a, a boring draw, and I'm going to go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. The next one is just again my dark horses. Watford going up against a very good Wolves side. Um, I don't want to say too much more on Wolves. I've said what I said, need to say on the Arsenal fixture. Um, Watford on the other hand are looking to go on a high as well. This is the time of the season where all teams are expected to go on a high, expected to go off in the summertime, have a bit of a break, come back in for pro season with confidence for the new season. Um, I'm going to call this one a draw and I'm going to call this one a two all draw. Now, the next one is Brighton versus Newcastle. It's a 5 30 kickoff, so it will be after the Fulham Cardiff game. So, Brighton will know what they have to do to possibly survive, or if not, the battle will go on for another week. Um, you know, on the upside for Brighton, Newcastle have never won down at the MX at the Amex Stadium or the American Express Community Stadium or whatever you want to call it. I don't think that's going to change this time around either. I think Brighton will go win this one, and I'm going for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. Um, you know, Newcastle, I think they played twice in the FA Cup down the Amex, and they played twice in the league. Or oh, whatever way they've done it, they have never won at the American Express. Actually, they might have won once. I think they won, might have won one. Uh, where Brighton were 1 0 up and they came back and won it 2 1. I'm not 100% sure whether that was Newcastle or But anyway, I'm sticking to that scoreline. So, you know, put your comments down below what you think the result's going to be. The next one is Burnley versus Manchester City. Um, yet again, City are going to have to win to keep the pressure on um, Liverpool, and that's what exactly what I'm going for. Um, I'll go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Leicester versus Arsenal. Yet again, Arsenal have got two away games back to back. Keen Power Stadium, not an easiest place to go. So I'm going to stick up for the blue side of Leicester. Um, I really do want them to finish their season on a high after their chairman's passing. I also want Cardiff to do um, you know, the best they can for obviously the passing of their seller. Um, it's a terrible season this season. There sh might be a video... Um, Come the end of the season, after the 38 week period, where I do mention uh, topics, what's gone on this season. But, uh, put your comments down below uh, if you'd like to see that. Um, you know, I'm going to mention where VAR would have helped, where diving was involved, and all that kind of thing. But yeah, put it down in the comments below if you'd like to see me talk about that as well. Um, back to this game, though, I'm going to, as I've said, stick up for the blue side of Leicester. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 win for that one. Now my last prediction for this week. I'm sorry it's taken a bit longer than what all my other videos I've done. 
Um, it's Man United versus Chelsea. Um, United need to win this to keep the pressure on the top four, but same as Chelsea. Which way do I call this one? Um, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. Um, guys, anyway, give this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.